Welcome to day five of 20 days of 20 sun salutations. After today, we're going to be a quarter of the way there, which is awesome. You're doing great, whatever level you're at and whatever you're doing, even if it's just following along with the videos, well done and thank you for being here. So yesterday we focused on the Hasta Uttanasana with the raised arms. So the raised arms pose, tucking underneath, nice and strong, keeping that body in a really good posture and the arms were coming up to here. Today we're also going to be going, and I have my notes here because the Sanskrit names do not like to stay in my brain and you're definitely not expected for them to be in your brain either. This is more so that you have it if you would like to know what they are and you can also search them on the internet to see if you want to find a little bit more about those poses. So Hasta Uttanasana, raise arms pose, and then that forward fold where we come down, we're pushing our bum backwards slightly, nice and strong through the core here into that forward fold, Pada Hastasana. Now the options when you're there, you can just come down with your hands resting on the ground next to each other over your feet. You can bend your legs quite a bit. The goal is to bring your chest towards your thighs. If you can't touch, that's absolutely okay. You can pull slightly towards. Some people like to wrap their arms around. Just be cautious of your knees and resting through whatever position is comfortable for you, but bend as much as you need to, to try to get those, that chest approximated towards your thighs. So a couple of different options with the forward fold there. And then as you lift into your halfway lift, your Ardha Uttanasana, again, you don't need to remember that, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana, you're inhaling to a halfway lift. You can have your fingertips resting on the floor, aiming to have a nice straight, flat back as much as possible. If that's uncomfortable for you, you can bring your hands up onto your shins and you've got a couple of different sections that you can go on the shins, a bit higher, a little bit lower in order to achieve that flat back but be comfortable. Your legs are a little bit straighter there but within comfort. If you want to have them more bent, that's absolutely okay, especially if you're trying to protect your back. All right, there's a little bit of the background behind that for the forward fold and the halfway lift. We're going to get started now with day five and run through all 20 sun salutations. I'm gonna do my best to stick with 20. I'm the only one here today, so I'll be counting them on my own. So fingers crossed we managed to keep it in time and actually hit 20, not above that. <laughs> okay, coming to the front of your mat, roll the shoulders back and down, activate your glutes, your core, and in that nice strong Tadasana pose. Spread the toes out nice and wide. Inhale, raise the arms up. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, stepping back. Drop those knees to the ground. Bring yourself down to the floor. Breathing in, baby cobra. Check yourself, lift the hands up off the ground. Exhale, push yourself back down into downward facing dog. Inhale, walk towards the front of your mat into a halfway lift, exhale, forward fold, inhale, bring the arms all the way up, exhale, bring them down to your side. Now I'm quite close to a wall again. You can do that raised arms this way and then lowering them in whatever way is comfortable for you. Or if you wanted to do a swan dive, if you've got the space around you, you bring the arms back and down into the forward fold. So that's one, coming into number two. Breathing in, arms all the way up. Exhale down into your forward fold, wherever is comfortable for you. You can hold on, bend the legs, whatever you need to do. Inhale, halfway lift, fingers over, fingers to the ground or to your shins. Exhale, stepping back for your plank, chaturanga, knees or toes, low plank. And inhale into baby cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, pushing all the way back into downward facing dog. Tilt your pelvis, push your pelvis right up towards the sky. Inhale into a halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale all the way up and exhale, bring the arms down. Inhale, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, coming all the way back and down for your chaturanga. In, inhale into half uh, baby cobra, exhale, all the way back into downward facing dog. Inhale, walking to the front of your mat for a halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, raise the arms all the way up. Exhale, down. I'm not alone anymore. A little siren. How peaceful. Just gonna wait a minute for the siren to stop. That was three, right? You're keeping count? 
inhale, exhale into a forward fold, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, stepping back, knees or toes, if you're on your toes, pushing yourself forward slightly, bend the elbows 90 degrees, and then we're coming up into upward facing dog. Exhale, coming all the way backwards into downward facing dog. Inhale, walking to the front of your mat. Exhale, halfway, uh, forward fold. Inhale, arms come all the way up. Exhale, arms down. Inhale, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, stepping back, knees or toes, chaturanga and up into your upward facing dog. Exhale, push the bum backwards into downward facing dog. Inhale, walking to the front of the mat. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Inhale, then exhale and coming up. We can keep track of this, we've got this. It's a lot harder when I'm on my own. Inhale and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, stepping all the way back, bending those elbows and inhale into upward facing dog. Exhale into downward facing dog. Inhale as you walk into a halfway lift to the front of your mat. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale all the way up. That should be six. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, stepping back into your plank, knees or toes. And then inhale to baby cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, push yourself back into downward facing dog. Inhale towards the front of your mat into a halfway lift, exhale, forward fold, inhale, lifting all the way up, exhale, arms down, inhale, lifting up, exhale, bring the arms down into a forward fold, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, stepping back, inhale, as you come into upward facing dog, exhale, pushing back down into downward facing dog, walking towards the front of the mat, inhale for halfway lift, exhale forward fold, inhale all the way up and exhale, bring the arms down. I have well and truly lost count of where I am. Anyone? Anyone know where we're up to? Is that eight? You know what, we'll say it's eight and we're going to do two more and we'll be halfway and we're going to start again from one. Inhale and exhale into forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, fingertips to the ground or to your shins. Exhale, stepping back and lowering and inhaling for your upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Walking towards the front of your mat, inhale for halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, bring the arms down. Inhale, exhale, forward fold, wherever you're comfortable placing your hands down. You can place them underneath if you want to stay here for a moment, underneath the feet so that you're actually stepping on your hands slightly, just protect your wrist. Otherwise, inhale for halfway lift, exhale, stepping back, chaturanga, lower yourself down, inhale for that upward facing dog, exhale, downward facing dog. Walk, jump or step to the front of your mat. Inhale for halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. And inhale all the way up. Exhale, arms down. All right, that should be 10. We're gonna start again from one and try and keep track of this. Inhale, arms all the way up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, stepping back for your chaturanga. Lower down, 90 degrees. And inhale for upward facing dog. Squeeze your glutes and pushing back into downward facing dog as you exhale and then inhale to the front of the mat with a halfway lift, exhale, forward fold, inhale, lifting all the way up, 11, inhale, arms up, exhale into your forward fold, keep those knees nice and soft, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, stepping back, chaturanga, dropping all the way down, and up into your upward facing dog. Exhale as you push back down into downward facing dog. Push the bum right up to the roof. And then walking to the front of your mat. Inhale or exhale. Uh, inhale, halfway lift. 
and exhale as you come to hang all the way down with your hands by your side or resting to hold onto yourself there. Inhale, all the way up, exhale, arms down, 12. Inhale and exhale into a forward fold. Inhale, exhale as you're stepping back into your chaturanga, knees or toes, bending those elbows into a low plank and then up for your upward facing dog or baby cobra. Push your bum back towards the roof for downward facing dog. Walking towards the front of the mat, inhale for halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, inhale all the way up and exhale, brings the arms down. Inhale, up, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, stepping backwards, chaturanga, bending those arms and inhale for upward facing dog or baby cobra. Exhale, push yourself back into downward facing dog, then walk, jump or step towards the front of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms up to the sky, exhale, down by your side. Inhale and then exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, stepping back, knees or toes all the way down if you're on your knees for the baby cobra and then exhale back into your downward facing dog push the bum to the sky inhale as you walk towards the front of the mat and exhale forward fold inhale all the way up exhale all the way down i think we're at 15. i think i'm counting this right but i will go back and count this later all right inhale all the way up Exhale, all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, stepping back for your chaturanga. And then inhale for your upward facing dog. Exhale, pushing all the way back down to your downward facing dog. Inhale, walk, jump or step to the front of your mat for a halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, arms down by your side. Tadasana, reset your posture. Pull your shoulders back and down. Inhale, raise the arms up to the sky, Hasta Uttanasana. And then exhale, coming down for your forward fold. You can hug your legs if you need. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, stepping backwards, knees or toes. Coming down, baby cobra. Bring those arms up, just check yourself, make sure your shoulders are back and down. And then exhale, push yourself back into your downward facing dog. Inhale, walk, jump or step to the front of your mat. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms all the way up. Exhale, down. Inhale. And then exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, stepping back, knees or toes. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, all the way back into downward facing dog. Walking to the front of your mat. Inhale and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, arms down, inhale, and exhale into a forward fold. Inhale, exhale, stepping backwards into your chaturanga, knees or toes, lower yourself down, check yourself if you're in baby cobra. Exhale, push your arms back into downward facing dog. Inhale, walking to the front of the mat, halfway lift, exhale, forward fold. Again, remember, keep those legs bent so that you can start working on bringing your chest a bit closer to your thighs. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, arms down. Inhale up. Exhale into that forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, fingertips to the ground or to your shins. Work on keeping the shoulder blades back and down. Nice straight back. And then exhaling as you step back, knees or toes. If you're on your toes, remember just shift forward slightly, bending the elbows 90 degrees and then bringing yourself up into an upward facing dog, squeezing your glutes together. Exhale as you push back into downward facing dog, walking to the front of the mat. Inhale, exhale, forward fold. Inhale and exhale the arms down. We're gonna do one more. I think that was 19. I may have done more. Hopefully it's not less. I don't mind if I do more as long as I don't skip any, but we're gonna finish strong. One more. Inhale. So that was 20. So feel free to skip this next one or you can join me for number 21. Nice strong core. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, stepping back for a chaturanga. Nice and strong. Keep those shoulder blades in close. 
lowering down and inhale for upward facing dog. Exhale into downward facing dog. Tilt the pelvis to the sky. Walk, jump or step to the front of your mat. Inhale for your halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms come up to the sky. And then exhale, back down into Tadasana. Woo, well done guys. We did it. I'm gonna count those later. I'm hoping, I'm hoping it's 20, but um, time will tell. I hope that you enjoyed day five with me and I'll see you again tomorrow for day six. <laughs>